The church teaches us that God shows his power precisely through forgiveness, through mercy. And the incarnation of God's mercy is in the person of Jesus Christ himself. The first man, Adam, who ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, fell, and from this tree we received condemnation. Now God is sending us His Son, through whose cross we receive love and forgiveness. Somehow, this is most beautifully expressed in prayer when a priest prays in the sacrament of confession, and in that sentence we see how great God's love is, how great His mercy is, and how all the good that happens to us in our lives is exactly the gift of Divine Mercy. Presumption as a sin is a sin against the first commandment of God, more precisely against hope, trust in God. Somehow the simplest way to say it would be this, well, I can do whatever I want, I can commit sins, God will forgive me, I'll do this, do that, what does it matter? God is merciful. I mean, we don't think that we have to work on our conversion at all, work on our weaknesses, our sins, repent for them, but we think that God will give us everything just like that. Well, I can do whatever I want, and God is merciful, and He will forgive me. This belongs to the sin of presumption. We can obtain plenary indulgence if we meet the conditions imposed on us by the Church. When Jesus gave Peter the authority to forgive or retain sins, He gave the same authority to Peter's successors, which thus extends to the whole Church with His authority. These are the three most common conditions to receive a plenary indulgence, the sacrament of confession, Eucharistic communion, and the prayer for the intention of the Holy Father, the Pope. The Church gives us plenary indulgence so that we may receive God's comfort, mercy, and forgiveness, so that we would be encouraged by that and that we would forgive our loved ones more easily. Sin, in addition to bringing spiritual wounds, also carries temporal punishments. These are the punishments for which at some point we will have to be responsible to the Lord for. Plenary indulgence erases exactly those temporal punishments. Our God is not only merciful, He is also just. If I inflict pain on you, your pain is a burden on my soul that prevents me from being completely pure so that I can enter the Kingdom of God. We know well that we must be pure before the Lord, without sin, in order to have a share in His Kingdom. Thank you very much for the invitation. Greetings to all viewers. If you like this video, feel free to share it with your friends.